Hi guys, I'm going to do a real quick tutorial on how to do a pointing finger. You need a few bits of kit. Firstly, and most importantly, you need a green screen of some description. This one is a piece of plywood covered in green art card. Don't worry about the cardboard. It helps it stand up when it's like this, but originally it was used to stop the sand blowing off in the sand transition. You need a video camera so that you can film. You don't need a cup of tea, but it's useful. You need, well, that's it really. I've got a couple of other cameras working and an external microphone here, but that's only to make the tutorial. This is a marker. It'll come clear in a minute. There are a few things you need to get right for green screen work. One is the lighting. I'm actually just using this in my kitchen and there is a halogen light up there that is pointing approximately in the right place. You need usually to set your camera on manual focus. This is because it will try and focus on the green screen, but really you need to focus on your finger. So this marks the focal plane that you want. You need also, and it is quite important, to do the white balance, which makes sure that in this light, this green screen is sufficiently green. You can do it with white card, if your camera allows it, or you can do it choosing whichever the light presets are available. I've used the incandescent light preset. It seems to give me the best color. And most importantly, of course, you need a finger and that's actually the hardest part is directing the finger to do the job you want so maybe you have to talk to it you know we want aggression or assertiveness forcefulness whatever and uh, basically that's it until you come to process your resultant video so then you just use your finger and you go like that or like that or like that and you can take as many takes as you like and it's really not too difficult. Your resultant video of course needs to be carefully assessed for quality and whatever you want from your finger. And then it needs to be processed and placed into your video and the background is chroma keyed out. So let's have a look at that in a minute. Now that we've got our chroma keyed clips, let's use them in a real project. Let's import our clips into our media library, drag them down to overlay our main timeline modify, get into PIP designer, let's enable chroma key, select the color picker, choose the right place and chroma key out. Final adjustments can be made with the sliders. And then save our chroma keyed clip and carry out our final adjustments, changes of angle, give us the effect that we want. That's it. Thank you for watching.